Hi, can I have a medium cold brew? Yep, any cream and sugar. Can I just do almond milk and um, a pump of sugar-free vanilla and a couple packets of sweet and low? Perfect. Anything else for you? And then can I get the turkey sausage um, wake-up wrap? That's all. It's going to be 841. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have another flavor that's unsweetened? Yeah, we have coconut, toasted almond. I'll do the toasted almond. Toasted yeah, almond. Perfect. thanks. It's going to be 841. Okay. The wrap is coming right up. Okay, thanks. thanks. Mm. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is absolutely gorgeous. It is hot outside. It's like in the 80s today. It definitely feels like summertime and way hotter than summer. So I wanted to get out of the house this morning. I wanted to get an iced coffee at Duncan. I haven't been to Duncan in a long time, so I just got a cold brew with almond milk and a sweet and low and a pump of sugar-free toasted almond. It tastes so good. And then I also picked up some breakfast. I didn't have breakfast yet. And I always get the turkey sausage wake-up wrap. I love the ritual of going to Duncan. Every time I come here, I usually come early in the morning and I haven't had breakfast yet, so I always get a little wake up wrap and my iced coffee and then go about my day. So today I have some errands to run. I thought it'd be a perfect day to run all of the errands because it's really nice out and um, I think it's gonna rain though. So I'm gonna try to finish all my errands before it rains, but I have to go to pick up a Sephora order. I got stuff from the sale. I think the sale's over and I apologize that I didn't film a haul this year. I usually do every time there's a sale, but I didn't this time. This video is going to be super late, but I'll show you guys anyway what I got. And then I have to go to the grocery store. I think I'm going to go get a car wash, even though it's going to rain. My car is really dirty. I have to go to the post office. I have to mail my taxes. So yes, I definitely need this coffee. <clears throat> what happened to my voice? <clears throat> First, I need to eat. Mm, mm. Okay, maybe I shouldn't get a car wash because... I think it's raining. Okay, we're gonna skip that for now. I'll go another day, it's not a priority. I'm gonna go to the grocery store, restock the fridge. Today is Monday and my camera keeps getting crooked, sorry. I think that's good. Yeah, today's Monday. Um, this past weekend, I was like pretty busy and out all weekend. We went to another baseball game yesterday. We went to Camden Yards. The Brewers came to play the Orioles and we lost. Unfortunately, the Brewers lost. But we still had fun. And then Saturday, went out to dinner. Friday, had my friends over. So yeah, I didn't really get anything done this weekend. So today I'm like catching up, doing all my chores and errands. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited right now. I just got back home and came home to this package from Dagny Dover. They are the sponsor of today's vlog. So thank you guys very much for sponsoring and thank you so much for this backpack, you guys. I am so obsessed. I have been on the hunt for a good quality backpack for the longest time and I am so happy with this one. I love the color. I love the quality. I do have another Dagny Dover bag that I've had for years and I've always used it as a travel bag but I wanted to start using a backpack for when I travel so I picked this one up and I just love the zippers and the compartments. It's such a good size. So a little background on Dagny Dover. They create problem solving bags that are great for any occasion, for any solution whether you need a bag for school or for work or for travel all of their products are designed to help you stay organized while looking super stylish and good it's a woman founded brand so I love that and all of their products are intentionally designed so along with the backpack I also got this little jewelry holder and the inside is organized so well you have little slots up here for your earrings uh, little compartments here and then a ring holder you can lift this up and put more things down there it also comes with a dust bag 
and it's just the perfect compact size. So this is gonna be a big travel essential for me along with the backpack. So adorable. So I will link all of the Daggy Dover info in my description. I have a code, it's Rose 20 You can get 20% off full priced items. So use that code at checkout and click the link in my description. Okay, so I'll show you guys everything I picked up from Whole Foods. I got some snacks. I got these chickpea snacks. I love to snack on these. They're really delicious and it's a healthier alternative when I crave some type of salty snack. This is the Rock and Ranch flavor. And then I got these Chomps turkey sticks. I like these also as a snack for when I wanna get some protein in. And honestly, these keep me really full. 12 grams of protein for each stick and 80 calories for one. This was so expensive. This pack was $20. I don't know why that's so expensive, but I've gotten these in my Hungry Root boxes before. So I've tried it and I just really like how it tastes and it's very satisfying, keeps me full. I also got some hydrangeas just to refresh the flowers on the coffee table. Breaded chicken tenders for just when I want like a quick lunch, maybe throw it in a wrap or in a salad. I also got some frozen turkey meatballs. I made spaghetti over the weekend and I put these turkey meatballs in it and it was really good. Coconut water. I got a couple of poppy um, sodas or not Poppy, this is Olipop. I actually prefer this brand over Poppy. They're both probiotic soda drinks. I get them confused, but I like the taste of these better. So this is watermelon lime and lemon lime. Got some frozen strawberries and bananas for smoothies. Smart Sweets, Sour Blast Buddies. These are kind of like a healthy version of Sour Patch Kids. These only have two grams of sugar and they taste pretty good. So got that when I have a craving for candy. I got some cottage cheese. I got a couple of these seasonings. One of them is a chicken fajita seasoning and then the other one is al pastor taco seasoning. And then I got a bunch of produce and veggies. I got some arugula, kale, bell peppers, avocados, grapefruit. I got an onion. I'm gonna do some chicken fajitas one night this week so I got an onion for that. The bell pepper and then I'm gonna use that chicken fajita seasoning. Some cucumber and garlic. I also got minced garlic just because it's easier. I got some herbs. I got parsley and cilantro. I got asparagus, a couple of these steaks. Lastly, some carrots and green onions. So the very healthy, health conscious grocery haul. So I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora. I got this during the sale. The sale is unfortunately now over. Um, I apologize for not showing this sooner, but I did a pickup order and I just had no time to go pick it up until today. I did, however, share my recommendations and what I did buy. I shared that on my Instagram story last week. So if you follow me there, you might have seen that. You can save this for the next time there's a sale or even just buy it regular price. I only got 15% off because I'm VIB now. And another reason why I didn't do a video is because I'm not rouge anymore and usually when I'm rouge I would shop on the first day so that I would be able to like shop a little bit earlier and get you know my haul out there early on but I had to wait a little bit went down from rouge to VIB because I tried to tell myself to stop shopping and I did okay so here's what I got I got the Sol de Janeiro milky leave-in conditioner spray I needed a new leave-in conditioner and I usually would grab the Way leave-in conditioner. That one is really good, I like that one, but I wanted to try a new one. And this one had so many good reviews and it helps to protect from heat and UV. So not only does it hydrate and detangle and do all the stuff that a leave-in conditioner does, but it also is a heat protectant. I love this brand. I have so many of their products, so I have good faith that this one will be a great product as well. And then I got one other hair product from Amika. I'm a huge fan of Amika's products and this is the Smooth Over Fizz Fighting Treatment. This is a one minute treatment you can use in the shower. Once you shampoo and condition, you put this in your hair for one minute and I don't know, I hope this works. I've never tried this, but I have very frizzy hair and especially in the summertime. So I'm gonna try this next time I wash my hair. And then I just picked up another Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my favorite go-to foundation. And I ran out of the one that I have, so I just picked up another one. I'm in the shade 5.9. That's the best, best foundation. It's so expensive, but to me it's worth it because out of all the foundations I've used, aside from the Estee Lauder one, that one is another like very top. I think those two are my top favorites. But the Luminous Silk just makes my face look so airbrushed and very flaw. I mean, that's the name flawless. 
it's the flawless foundation and your face just looks so smooth and it doesn't cake it stays on all day I just love that foundation so much. I got the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. I got the mini size because the large size was like twice the price. And usually when I get sprays, I don't even finish them. And I thought I could put this in my purse or in my travel bag. It smells really good. It kind of smells like rosemary. I needed a new everyday refreshing spray that I can spray on my face throughout the day when I feel like it's getting dull and tired looking, which I feel like it is now. So let's try this. Mm, mm. Wow, I love the applicator. Honestly, one spritz goes a long way. Hmm. Ooh, I like that kind of subtle glow. Okay, and then I picked up two of these Glossy Bounce lip oils from Say. I got one in the color Dip and then the other in the color Play. I have been on the hunt for a really pretty pink lip gloss or lip oil that I can use on a daily basis not when I'm like doing a full glam makeup but like when I'm doing the bare minimum makeup look because I just want you know my lips to be very pretty and pink and glossy for the summer so this is yeah the hydrating lip oil I want to try play it's like a hot pink color Ooh, Ooh I like that mmm I love how it feels oh wow it feels very hydrating not sticky at all mmm Ooh, I love that. That's really pretty. That's just on my natural lips, but I'm sure with like a lipstick it would be really nice, but I love how this feels. It definitely is very hydrating. I got a couple more lip products. I got a couple of pencils for Makeup Forever. They're both the artist color pencil. One of them is a kind of deep brown color. I want to use this for my eyes, and then the other one is a more... Kind of like a taupe mauvey color this one's called wherever walnut and then the brown color is called limitless brown but i think you can use these for different things you can use it for your eyes your lips or whatever so we got those and then i also got a lipstick from charlotte tilbury this is in catwalk or catwalking i have the pillow talk i think this is from the same line and pillow talk is like a really pinky color this one is more Kind of deeper and peachy and i looked at videos of swatches of this and it looked so pretty and then i got a concealer brush from house labs that's lady gaga's makeup line i have the house labs foundation and i'm gonna be honest i'm not really a fan of it i think i still have it in here i need to also clean out my vanity which i think i'll do in this vlog um you know what i don't think i have it anymore i might have thrown it away i wasn't a fan of the house labs foundation because it just felt very oily and greasy to me um so yeah that didn't work out for me but i needed a new concealer brush i usually apply my concealer with my beauty blender but i want to start using a little brush because i think that'll blend a lot more better and prevent creases so this one had really good reviews i love the pretty look of it silver chrome so Yes, we got that. Okay, and then the last thing I got, so this is actually just my in-store order. I ordered a couple things online that weren't in my store, so I have like three things coming in the mail. Um, but yeah, this is the last thing that I got for my pickup order. This is from Cali Ray. I've never tried anything from this brand before. I've never even heard of them until I was on Sephora's website. This is a brightening under eye color corrector. And this reminds me of the Bobbi Brown one. I used to use the Bobbi Brown like pink under eye corrector and I used to love that product, but it did kind of cause creases under my eye. So I wanted to try a new product out. And then this is in the shade Cool Sunrise. So it's kind of like a really light pink salmon type color. And basically it's just supposed to correct the dark circles under your eyes. I wanna try this. So yeah, I have super dark under eyes. And I recently discovered that they are genetic because I looked at baby photos of myself and photos of myself when I was a toddler and a kid and I had dark circles when I was a toddler. So there's nothing I can do about my dark circles. I can just cover them up and then embrace them. Okay, so this is kind of like a first step to concealer. It's just supposed to kind of help neutralize the dark circle. Ooh, I like it. I really like it. I have no makeup on right now, so 
it might look a little weird but I'm trying to embrace the no makeup look this season you know I want to just use makeup products to cover up you know blemishes and my dark circles and kind of just leave my face natural oh I love that mm-hmm that's nice because I kind of have like pink undertones um, on my skin and also I kind of think it'll look cute when you're wearing blush because since the corrector is kind of like a pinkish shade it'll blend nicely with like pink um, blushes so yeah I like that I'm gonna set that because I just want to see what that's gonna look like like if it's gonna crease or um, yeah just what that's gonna look like Ooh, I like that I feel like that's a little bit more natural than concealer you know for like a day-to-day -day look oh wow I love that yeah that's awesome okay um, is that all I got? Yeah, that's everything I got. Oh, yeah I also wanted to show you guys this PR package that I got that is makeup related since we're on the topic of makeup I actually have a few PR packages. They're kind of sitting in this pile So I need to like open them and might as well show you guys. I got some perfumes from Ellis Brooklyn I've never smelt their scents before but I know they sell these at Sephora and they reached out to me and asked if I was interested in trying their scents and I'm a big fragrance girly. I didn't pick up any fragrances during the sale this year because I have enough. Um, I'm trying to not buy anymore, but you know, I was interested in trying these scents out. So this one is in Myth. And what are the notes? Does it say? Okay, I don't think it says the notes on here. Let me just smell it and give my first impression. Hmm. I really like the bottle. Very classy. Mm. Wow. Oh my god, that's so gorgeous. I've never smelled a scent like that before. It's not really fruity, but it's like a very light scent. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to explain that scent, but it's so beautiful. It's light, but it's kind of dark at the same time, if that makes sense. That doesn't make sense, but it's kind of like sultry in a light way. Oh my gosh, that is so... Ooh, I like that. Okay, this one is called Salt. I'm assuming this one's gonna smell like a beach or something like salt water oh my god look at this bottle oh I love that color mm. oh my god oh my god no way that smells so good holy are you kidding me yeah that smells very you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of the Versace turquoise water the Dylan turquoise waters I think that's what it's called it smells so similar to that and they even look the same like they have the same color bottle mmm yeah it smells like a turquoise like beachy water very elegant both of these are very elegant wow I think I found a new fragrance that I love I am a fan wow okay this is from Paula's choice and it is oh my god stop it are you serious wow there's a niacinamide serum pro collagen peptide serum vitamin C serum and I don't know how to say this Azeliac clarifying refine firm and brighten a package from L'Occitane love the bath products and they sent a liquid soap oh my god for your hands I actually needed to buy a refill for hand soap so they sent one it's a lavender scent and then this is body cream and then they sent a refill as well yeah I love their body creams they're so moisturizing all of their products are extremely moisturizing and extremely good smelling okay we're saving the best for last guys I got a PR package from rare beauty and they sent all of the new blushes they came out with this new blush line and I was actually gonna buy a couple of them from the Sephora sale but they sent this package so 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 truly blessed to receive this package um so yeah the soft pinch luminous powder blush is the new product and they sent i believe these are all their shades along with the liquid blushes they also sent the soft pinch blush brush and the always an optimist powder brush and then this is a dry brush cleaner wow this is like are you kidding me i want to try one of the the powders maybe we'll do this one this one is called cheer here's the color oh my god like are you kidding me i'm gonna use the blush brush mm. do you guys see that 
it's shining. Oh my god, I wake up. I'm so excited. Holy. Mm. Yup. Yup. I feel like it's really bright, so it's hard to see, but. Wow. I didn't really put that much on because I don't want to overdo it. Mm. Oh my god, I love it. This is so perfect for the summertime. They knew what they were doing with this release. Everyone is obsessed with wearing blushes and wearing a lot of blush and especially really kind of luminous glowy blushes. It's just the perfect glowy summer makeup look. Holy, mm. okay, I love it. Okay, that's the only one I'm gonna try for now. But yeah, that's everything from Sephora and just some random things I got in the mail. I still can't believe I'm on Rare Beauty's PR list. It's funny because I actually pitched them and I emailed them asking um, if they were open to collaboration. They actually emailed me back and saying that they weren't currently doing partnerships or they just didn't have any openings at the time. And they said that if you're interested, we can put you in your PR list. So that's how that happened. I actually reached out to them. So yeah, usually when I get giftings in PR, just in case you're wondering or if you want to know how I how I get them, um, most of the time companies will email me directly and reach out to me and then like we'll correspond that way. But a lot of times if there's a brand that I really, really want to work with or want to try products from, I'll reach out to them directly. But yeah, if you are a content creator or an aspiring content creator, you know, the emails of these brands are actually on like available on the internet. There's a lot of people that make TikToks especially, and they share their PR lists. So that's how I found a lot of brand emails or point of contacts. And I just reached out to them that way. Or you can even DM. I DM Bondi Sands once and was able to get on their PR list that way by me reaching out to them via Instagram DM. So either email or DM, you can um, totally do that. And when I DM them, I said, hey, like I'm interested. And working with you guys is there someone that i can email to speak further about this because usually the people that manage the dms don't really directly work with gifting sometimes they do but a lot of times they're just like the social media managers so they'll actually like give you someone else's email or point of contact for you to reach out that way so that's kind of how i angle my um dms around that i'm like hey do you have an email of someone that i can reach out to directly and then a lot of the times they'll respond, sometimes they don't even open my DM, but a lot of times they'll respond with an email and I'll then email that person and we'll talk that way. But yeah, so a lot of the times, you know, companies don't respond back to me. A lot of the times things don't really work out. They just kind of get lost in the weeds. But yeah, if you ever, you know, want to work with a brand, don't be shy to either DM them or email them because you never know what will happen. You never know who's going to respond because that's how I got on Rare Beauty's PR list. So, okay. That's enough of that. But if you guys want to actually know more about content creating things, let me know in the comments because I think I'm due for an updated content creator video, like tips and advice for how you can get started or um, just any other random questions you have. Okay, I made some chicken bowls for dinner, Mediterranean chicken bowls. 
with cucumber, tomato, red onion. I got some feta, some rice, the grilled chicken. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do today is to declutter and organize my vanity since I have some new makeup and I haven't done this in a while. I just want to go through and throw away expired products and just declutter and organize a little bit better. So I also got these little organizational bins that came in a set of, I think, nine of them. Yeah, nine. And then these are from Amazon. And I just wanted to use these and organize this a little bit differently. I currently do have these organizational bins, but they're like these trays. The trays are okay, but the thing is I can't tell what is in what because they're kind of short. Like they're not tall. So I wanted to get some new little bins to help better differentiate and separate the different makeup products. So that's my next project. We are going to finally get this together. Okay guys, it is well into the night and I finally finished organizing my vanity and decluttering it and I got a little bit overwhelmed while I was doing it. I kind of got a brain fart because I just had no idea how to organize because, I don't know, my brain just wasn't mathing. So I didn't vlog the end of myself um, organizing this, but this is how it turned out. I love the organizational bins. I love them a lot more than the other little separators that I used to have in here. I just feel like um, I have more compartments this time around and I was able to better separate the different um, category of products that I have. So over here in this little small bin, I have all of my primers. This one are all of my contour sticks. I do have this setting spray here because um, I wanted to put it with the primers, but it just wouldn't fit. So um, I just put that there. This little container has all of my powders. These are all of my foundations and CC creams, my mascaras. Oh, that does not belong there. That's a perfume. Um, this one is my concealers. This is blushes. This one is bronzers and this row highlighters over here. These are my liquid and cream um, blushes. So these are my powder, powder ones. And then here I have all of my lip liners. These are all of my eye pencils, like eyeliners, eyebrow pencils. Before I had these two combined in one compartment and it was just so hard to find all my stuff quickly because they're all just mushed together. Same with the bronzers um, and the blushes. Like all of these used to be in one container and again, it was hard to just kind of see where everything was. So definitely a lot better now. And then these are my lip glosses and lip oils. My lipsticks, I have a separate one for my MAC lipsticks because I'm just obsessed with MAC lipsticks. I got most of these actually in the MAC advent calendar that I got last Christmas and I will forever be a MAC girly. And then in this little square um, container, I have the like separate eyeshadow. So again, a lot of MAC paint pots. Is that what they're called? Paint pots? Not a paint pot, the just, you know, eyeshadows. Um, so, oh yeah, that's a paint pot down there. But yeah, I just have all of the, um, separate eyeshadows here that, like, aren't part of a palette, because I do have all of my eyeshadow palettes here. 
But yeah, I, again, am really happy I have this little separate container for them because these I used to have with the lip glosses. It just didn't make sense. Um, and then in this last one, I have all of my tools like tweezers, um, pencil sharpeners, eyelash curlers and stuff. This is a liquid highlighter, but I didn't have anywhere to put it. So I just put that there. And that's everything. That's how it turned out. So I really recommend these little organizers. If you have the mom dresser, this is the, yeah, the mom dresser from Ikea. I love it. I've had it for five years now and it works out so well. And I just love how all of my makeup is in one place. And then I do have some more makeup on here. This is not really that organized. Um, those are like my lip glosses and then my most frequently worn foundations. And then I have a couple of setting sprays over here and then just more lip glosses. So I'll link the little containers that I used in here in case you guys are interested. And by the way, I got the set of nine and it wasn't enough. So I actually had to grab a few that I already had in my desk. So like one, two, three, and four, I believe. I had to grab four extra ones from my desk. So that nine set on Amazon didn't fill this drawer up completely all the way. They also do have a I think it's a 20 piece set. There's a bigger size set. I probably should have gotten that one instead to kind of fill up the entire thing. So I recommend you get that if you want to completely fill up the entire drawer. But okay guys, all done. And I'm very, very satisfied now. Hi guys, it's the next day. I'm currently editing the vlog that you're watching right now. I just realized I forgot to end the vlog. So I am just hopping on to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.